All right. So, guys, I've gone through the last of the examples, and some people really remember this journey property. Some people are like, oh my God, no matter what I try to do, I always forget how to do this journey property. And then there's some people, they're like, I just can't remember, was it foil, coil, soil? I just can't remember what to do with the foil, soil, coil, where it goes. So the last thing, for those of you that are very visual, you know how you write down like when there's a burger, there's like a composite sketch, right? They have to go and write the face of somebody, composite sketch. Yeah. So, yeah. so what we're going to do next time is, if you guys can always think of what we just call the foil face. Now it's pretty basic, but when you're creating a face, Nicolette, one of the most important things is you got to have the structure of the face, right? So the first thing we always like to do, kind of create the face. So you just kind of make a nice little loop, right, for the chin, you get the chin down there. Then the next thing I always like to think about is your nose. That's one of the first things you do when you're born is you breathe. So you create a nice big nose. Then what's up top is when you're not like me, you have what we call a little, you have what you call hair. So now if you don't already see the foil face and you want to get a little creative, um, you can kind of draw it a little bit and try to make it uh, a little bit funny. Sometimes I like to make little nostrils. Little teeth, maybe a little, a little goatee, um, maybe sometimes have them a little turkey a little hat, right? Look at his eyes. Oh my So here's two eyes, there's two ears. So you can see he has little teeth, maybe he has little. Where's his mouth? Cavities, just a little bit. Black. So he's a good guy. That's my friend, Foil Fred. So what this does though, this helps you just connect what, what terms do I multiply by? So if you can think of, you have the face, x times y, the nose, y times 2x, one piece of hair, x times 2x, the other piece of hair, y times y. Okay? And then you just equal them. x times y, guys, is x times y. y times 2x is Two y x. X times two x is going to be two x squared. Y times y is y squared. Now let me ask you a question because here where it comes a big deal. Are these the same or not the same? Not the same. So let me ask you this. Is that true or false? Can I say no? Is that true or false? It's true, right? So then I could say that x times y is equal to y times x, right? So then I guess what I'm just saying is let's rewrite this so they look exactly the same. Okay? Because then can I combine these now? Yeah, well, let's just write it all out actually. Let's write 2x squared plus yx plus 2yx plus y squared. These can combine, so I get 2x squared plus 3yx plus y squared. And there you go. That's how you can do it with the foil. Cool? No, not cool. Amazing. You don't like that one?